So Robbie, first of all, two all draw against FC United and Manchester tonight. What do you make of it? I thought it was a good game, two very good sides. You know, I like the way FC United play their football. I thought in the first half we were exceptional, but it can be better. You can move the ball quicker at times. I think it was too many touches, but we saw dynamic in you know when we have the ball in the forward areas. I thought defensively looked very, very good. Um, and to be fair, it, you know, it was it was both teams were really going for goals. It was an entertaining spectacle. Um, but to be 2-0 up at half time, it could have been more. Um, the goalkeeper's not had really much to do. Um, so obviously then with um, Withenshaw and the FA Cup here at the weekend, the manager took off, you know, um, 10 players left Marcelo one and then you know give others a chance who have been great in pre-season it just goes to show Bob competition for places now in the managers 16 I know there's 18 in the FA Cup is very very intense and I think everybody's over the course of pre-season have had a fair chance and they've all done exceptionally well I'm not going to lie to you Robbie I'm quite glad that pre-season is over but how do you reflect on the last few weeks I think it's been absolutely sensational if you look at the Look at where we were this stage the last season. FC United come here, dominated the game, dominated the ball, played us off the park, won the game. In that first half, 2 0 up in control against a team from the league above. I thought we were very comfortable. Look at the way we played against York City, National League side. I thought we you know, could have been six or seven. Um, and it, the big test was at the weekend against Wrexham, against you know a few people I've said, but um, you know, realization hits for Mac. Well, we just played for the National League with a with a huge budget probably 10 times more than ours and we've at times we've played some lovely football so I think overall um, it's been a, an amazing pre-season and the, what I felt going to the Wrexham game I honestly thought we had a team that could win and that's how far we've come so the lads have done great the management staff have done great you know Nick you know the SNC coach Dom the goalie coach Josh the physio Danny and, and you know, Danny Bandy and Paddy have done exceptional, so we're in a fantastic place, um, but we know it gets real Saturday um, here at the leasing.com. Um, with the show come here last year, you know, we've seen the manager um, already say that you know they won't fancy playing us. At the minute, we fancy playing anybody. We've got a great team. For me, a National League North, National League standard side um, with recruitment from Jimmy, um, and I believe we're in a great position to now, you know, to now go and win Saturday and, and, and go and take this lead by storm. Unfortunately, of course, pre-season now matters for nothing. How equipped do you think we are for the challenges we've got ahead? I think we've got the best squad in the league. I think we've got the best squad in, in the league above. And I think that this group, if they stick together, which you know we've brought 10 in, I think, and eight or nine have gone out. Um, we're still looking for good players. If good players become available, we've had one looking around tonight who everybody will know. Um, you know People are just blown away by what we've done for the football club. Myself, Rob, all the staff, yourself included, all the staff behind the scenes, the bar, the gym, you know, the office staff, their hearts in this football club and it's in a great place. So I think we're very equipped, not just on the pitch, off the pitch as well. And we're all really excited. But again, sat there, I'll be here, I'll be on the TV, looking at your tweets, hoping you'll get them right this time. I think you've got them on a few times last season. Um, it's, you know, it's made me worry. Um, but you're glad pre-season's over because of the 11 changes or yeah. 10 changes yeah. you've got to use that Twitter <laughs> um, so you're relieved um, but all the lads listen they're fresh they're ready and I think tonight before Brandon Lee after his injury you know Grimmy's done amazing but Brandon Lee tonight I thought was immense I thought it was his best game and we just look a very very good group and a group I would be comfortable playing National League football as you've alluded to, it's Woodenshaw in the Emirates FA Cup on Saturday. How important is a cup run to the, a club like Macclesfield? Financially, you know, every single game, you, we know the fan base, we know how important, you know, um, the club being self-sustainable. And, you know, if we can get an FA Cup run, I've set the manager a target of FA Cup first round prop. I think we've got the squad to do that. Um, I've set the target, FA, the FA Trophy quarter final, and set the target to win the league. Um, three targets which, which I think are realistic. Um, that's the aim, and you know, Withenshaw beat us 4-2 last season here. I thought they were immense. You know, Kinsey, we got a good relationship with Withenshaw. He's a fantastic manager, won the Manager of the Year. He'd have his team set up. He was here tonight watching. Um, you know, I'm not going to say anything um, at all that he can use in his team talk. They're a fantastic team. They've got fantastic players. Is it in the stars? The FA Cup, we know it. You know, Aaron Dwyer to come back and score a winner. Who knows? But. 
you know, he'll be up for it. Um, so, you know, I, we wish Aaron all the best. He's he done fantastic for us. And, you know, we got a great relationship with him. So, Brandon knew our youngster's gone there on loan. They've looked after him. Fortunately, he's in, unfortunately for him, he's, you know, he's injured. Um, but they'll be ready for it. Um, but we own one. You know, they come here 4 2, only team to beat us here in the league last season. And to be fair, deserved it. Um, but we're a completely different outfit now, and we're ready. One thing we can talk about in terms of Saturday is the opening of this great facility we're studying now. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? The fan zone um, going to be open to everybody at the weekend. It's, it's the cup, and the cup games are not part of season tickets, so it's going to be open to everybody. Um, you know, myself, Rob, yourself, all the staff have worked exceptionally to get it ready. Um, the, the final touches are going in place for Saturday. You know, so I urge everybody to get down here. You know, enjoy. Hopefully, um, it's sunny. Um, enjoy watching the game, cheer on the lads because we're going to need the fan base this season again. I know we've just put out the gold memberships, two for one, um, now in bar 27. So you've got a gold membership, you can bring you know, a guest in bar 27. Um, so, listen, we're in a great place, but you can see the effort, the passion, the desire that's going into this place to make it look as good as it is because our fans deserve it. And just finally, um, a little bit of sadness with the uh, with Bandy stepping down, he's somebody who we've grown to, to love as a colleague and as a friend, isn't he? Yeah, what can I say about Bandy? You know, you could see when he got the job as the assistant manager, the pride, when, when he stood in the tunnel, you know, we've seen all the videos and, you know, the lads have just given him a round of applause and huge thanks for what he's done for this football club. But, you know, with Bandy having a young family now, um, you know, and um, a daytime job, you know, he can't commit. Us as a football club have tried to get him a role which would have, you know, make him stay because, you know, the lads love him. He's a huge part of this football club. Um, but, you know, with his work commitments and his, you know, his beautiful family, he just couldn't commit. And as I said, we offered him the under 18s job, you know, because everybody knows how I felt by my 16s. But I trust Bandy so much that I wanted to give him the honour of, of managing that side. Um, but obviously, he couldn't do that also with work commitments. So, um, you know, he's going to be hugely missed. We tried everything to, to get him a role at the football club, just being part of Danny's backroom staff, you know, and just coming when he wants. But again, he couldn't come in. The man he is, he didn't want to let the manager or, or, the, or, the, or the coaching staff or the owners down. And I've said to him, you'll never let us down. You're ingrained in this football club. You know, you're welcome any time with him and his beautiful family. And he's a football man. He'll miss it. And, all, and the lads and I will miss him um, because he's... He's that character in the football club which everybody needs. You know, when I played, you know, where it was the kit man or, or somebody behind the scenes that you could relate to and you know, the lads will miss him and his efforts for this football club have been magnificent and he's gonna be a member for life, no question about it. And and you know, if he does decide to come back, I've said the door's always open. You know, the door's not shut. Um, if you ever want to come back and you, 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 you know, your family life and your you know and your work commitments, you know, um, you can do it and the door's always open.